For mathematicians, being awarded the Fields Medal is the highest professional honour. For female mathematicians, being awarded the medal seemed almost impossible, because no woman had ever received it. However, this changed in 2014, when Iranian mathematician Maria Mirzahani made history. She was awarded the medal and was recognized for her substantial contributions to the field of hyperbolic geometry. So it might surprise you to learn that at one time in her life, Marianne had given up on math. Told by her grade six teacher that she was no good at the subject, Marianne ripped up a math test and stated, I'm not gonna even try to do better. Marianne felt defeated. Have you ever thought math isn't for me or I'm just not good at science? Maybe even now there is something that you think you just aren't good at and you assume you never will be. This is how it was for Miriam. When it comes to learning something that you find difficult, a new angle or way in might be just what you need. Miriam worked consistently and patiently. Eventually, through her hard work, she discovered a way to explore and understand math that worked for her. Like an artist, she threw large sketch pads on the floor and began drawing. She penciled shapes, lines, and dots to visualize her ideas. This was her way into the world of mathematics, a creative space to unravel problems. She said, the process of drawing something helps you somehow stay connected. Miriam's love of math was ignited through this new approach. How could a new approach help you with something that you find difficult to learn? When a new instructor encouraged her not to give up on math, Miriam tackled math with renewed confidence. She decided to put more time into learning math. Miriam once said, you have to spend some energy and effort to see the beauty of math. If she hadn't spent more time on improving her math skills, Miriam may have never discovered her passion for the subject and her contributions to the field would have been lost. Can you think of a time that you gave up on something because it seemed to be too hard? Could you have been successful if you had stuck with it? Many of us think that we are naturally good at some things and not good at others, and we give up before we give ourselves a chance. But Mary Mirzahani is proof that sometimes we just need to find our own way in. By applying patience, time, and effort, you will be impressed at where you can take your learning. Most of the time, doing mathematics is like being on a long hike with no trail and no end in sight. But then somehow, I come to the top of a hill and I can see everything more clearly.